Hi kids, we are going to do an art lesson online again today. Now, do you remember we've been looking at this story, Fish is Fish? And remember that the fish and the frog are good friends, but the frog is able to go out of the pond and see all the other animals and people. And when he tells the fish about it, it's hard for the fish to imagine what those things look like because he's only ever been in the pond. So can you remember <clears throat> the frog hops out of the pond and he goes and looks at the world and when he comes to tell the fish what he has seen and the fish tries to imagine what a bird would look like, the fish thinks maybe the bird will look a little bit like this. So this is a very fishy bird with a fish body and a fish fin but bird wings and bird feet. And do you remember that when the frog tells the fish what a cow might look like, the fish uses his imagination and thinks maybe a cow would look a little bit like this. With again, a fish tail and a fish fin, but other parts that are a cow. And can you remember that he thinks that people might look like this? Very funny. Now, when I was a kid, I loved this story, and I know a lot of you have told me you think it's quite funny. So, I thought we should try to do this, and you are going to imagine you are a fish. And if you've never seen other animals, what might you imagine they look like when somebody tells you about them, when somebody describes them? So, you might be thinking, how do I do this? We're going to draw. The first thing we're gonna do is to try to draw a fish, and then we're gonna turn that fish into another animal to try to imagine what the fish thinks that animal looks like. So to draw the fish, some of you might think, but I don't know how to draw a fish. Well, that's okay, we're gonna do it step by step, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. And when we're doing art, oftentimes, it is very okay to copy somebody else the way they do it step by step in the beginning and as you get better and more comfortable then you'll be able to do it your own way but it's not a bad thing to copy the way someone else does it step by step in the beginning so you know what you're going to copy me but do you know who i'm copying i'm copying leo leone's fish so we're going to draw it just like this fish and then we're going to turn it into something else and in the end i'm sure everybody's will look quite different so I am going to move my camera down to my paper. Now you are going to need some paper and then you're going to need a pencil and you're going to need a rubber or an eraser. Um, this is not because you're planning to make a lot of mistakes. If you do make a mistake, that's of course fine and you can rub it out. But I want you to have this because we're going to draw a fish first and then we might have to erase a little bit of what we've drawn to turn it into another animal. Okay. So you need a pencil and you need a rubber and you need a piece of paper, okay? So we're gonna turn down here and have a look at what I have here. Okay, so you can see the fish there and I've got my pencil here. So you can see the fish. We are gonna draw him step by step. And one of the easiest ways, if you're looking at a picture of an animal or somebody else's drawing, you can say, what shapes did they use? So can you see here, I'm just looking at this first big part of the fish's body. What shape is that? It's kind of like a long oval. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that long oval first. And we're gonna leave the end of that oval a little bit open so we can add a tail. Let's scoot it over here so you can see better. All right, so we've got that shape. Now, what shape does his tail look like? It's kind of like a triangle. It's not pointy here, but this shape is kind of like a triangle. So we're gonna add that at the end of the body. Now already it's looking like a fish and I bet you all could do that. So it's not so hard, right? Now, what else do we need to make him a fish? We're gonna put this fin up at the top. Okay, so we're gonna start kind of in the middle of his body a little bit over more. I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna go down towards his tail. Now, let's see what else he needs a very big eye. 
So can you see we have a circle that's quite big and then a smaller circle inside for his pupil, that black part of his eye. So we're gonna draw a big circle first. And then inside, we're gonna draw a smaller circle. Now, if you get stuck, of course, you can stop this video and you can pause it and you can try to catch up, okay? Now we're gonna draw this little line here, like this. And we're gonna draw another fin. So that one is a little bit more like a rectangle. Can you see now? He's turning into a real fish. I think he needs a few more details. We're gonna give him a little smile and we're going to give him some stripes on his fin. So I'm gonna come here and put some stripes. Now remember, if it's going too fast, you just stop the video and you come back once you have caught up. I'm gonna draw a little line here by his tail and I'm going to draw some more lines here. And there's one more place that I need lines. Can you see where it is? On this little fin. So now there's my fish. It doesn't look exactly the same as Leo Leone, but I've used him to teach me how to do it. I found the oval shape. I found a triangle shape. I found this funny fish um, fin shape that's kind of a circle. This fin was kind of a rectangle and we needed two circles to do the eye. Now, what animal are we gonna turn this into? Now you can choose any animal you want to turn your fish into. I think I'm gonna to try to turn mine into a pig. Now you can use just this fish part and turn yours into something else. Maybe you want your fish to turn into part horse or part dog or part butterfly. Anything you think maybe this fish hasn't seen before and you're gonna use your imagination. How would the fish mix the fish body and the other special parts of the animal together? So I'm gonna turn mine into a pig. So I'm gonna need my rubber a little bit because does a fish nose <clears throat> look the same as a pig nose? Now a pig has got a cool special spout or um, snout. So I'm gonna rub a little bit out here because I want to give him a pig nose. So I'm gonna make my nose come out like this and like this. And then I'm going to draw an oval shape here for the end of my pig's snout. And then two other little ovals. Those are his nostrils. So already that doesn't look like a normal fish anymore, does it? It's turning into a pig. Now, what else does a fish need if it's going to be a pig fish? He needs some pig ears. So pig ears kind of look like triangles that are a bit round. So I'm gonna put one pig ear coming over here and give it a little extra line to show the inside. And another pig ear coming over here. So if you wanna make yours a pig, you can do exactly the same as I'm doing, or you can just watch and see how I'm doing it, and maybe you choose to turn your fish into a different animal. Now, what else does a pig need? He needs four legs. Do fish have legs? No, but this is a pig fish. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, pig feet. <clears throat> now I'm going to give them some little like toenails on their hooves. So I'm going to do like this one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. So I think this fish is very much looking like a pig now, but there is something different about a pig that we don't have here, something quite special. I think he needs a pig tail. So I'm gonna come, he's already got a cool fishtail and I wanna keep that fishtail, I really like it. But we're gonna do a little curly cue for a pigtail here. And that is my pigfish. Now, 
when you're done with this part, maybe you've turned your animal, your fish into a different animal, but then I want you to color it. And you can color it however you want to. You could use, if you have paints at home, you could use paints. If you have markers at home, or like felt tip pens, you could use those. Um, if you have colored pencils at home, you could use colored pencils. So I have some colors. So that's what I have used is colors. Ooh, these are all the dark colors. I used some more colorful colors. Now, I want you, when you're coloring it, however you choose to do it, I want you to really take your time because when we spend a lot of time drawing and make it really beautiful, we wanna do our best coloring afterwards so we finish it well. So I'm gonna show you my pig fish I colored with colored pencils. And that's how he looked at the end. Now, my pig fish, I colored it in with pink for all of the parts I thought were especially piggish. So if you draw a horse on your fish, maybe you will do the legs and the nose and the ears brown or another horse type color. So I did the pig color, the pig parts I did pink, and then the parts I thought were more fishy, I did some more fishy colors. So I'm very, very curious to see how your animals look when you're done um, and to see if you came up with a, a different idea, a creative idea. There is no wrong animal to pick. And you might even want to look at some pictures of that animal that you choose maybe on your computer to see. What does a horse or a duck or a butterfly, how would it look? What do I need to add to my fish? So I hope you enjoyed this project. I'm very excited to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching.